Maine Coon Cat vs. Siamese Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full-day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach, and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a rough in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium-width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well-tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold, or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. They might be surprised to learn that Maine Coons are found in solid colors that include black, red, or white, all tabby colors and patterns, by colors such as blue and white or red and white, and patterns such as tortoiseshell and calico. Most cat associations call for the Siamese to have a svelte but muscular body with long lines. The wedge-shaped head is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base, pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. Medium-sized almond-shaped eyes are always a deep vivid blue. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Siamese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, thin tail that tapers to a fine point. The short coat of the Siamese has a fine texture. In the Cat Fanciers Association, it comes in four colors, seal point, a pale fawn to the cream body with deep seal brown points and deep brown nose leather and paw pads, chocolate point, an ivory body with milk chocolate colored points and cinnamon pink nose leather and paw pads, blue point, a bluish white body with deep blue points and slate colored nose leather and paw pads, and lilac point, a glacial white body with frosty pinky gray points and lavender pink nose leather and paw pads. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish level to play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. Perhaps the most important thing to know about Siamese is they are talkative and opinionated. They will tell you exactly what they think, in a loud, raspy voice, and they expect you to pay attention and act on their advice. Siamese cats are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Siamese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. Do not get a Siamese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Siamese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Siamese does not like being left alone for long periods, and if you work during the day it can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. The Siamese is highly intelligent, agile, athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys and his body exercise with teaser toys he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. 
Choose them if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off. Bathe a Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. The short, fine coat of the Siamese is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep a Maine Coon and Siamese as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. The active and social Siamese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.